Good evening, it is August 1st, 2024, and right on cue, it looks like we have an area in the Atlantic that we need to monitor. The National Hurricane Center has given Invest 97L approximately 70% chance of development somewhere in that red hatched area here. Uh, that also includes the state of Florida and the portions of eastern Gulf of Mexico. Taking a quick look at the visible satellite here, we can see an area of disturbed weather already starting to occur over the island of Hispaniola. And we can see that there is maybe some semblance of some type of loose or broad rotation. However, no center of circulation has been yet identified. We do see some winds coming out of the southeast and then also some winds from the east. And then maybe they're beginning to maybe try to wrap around somewhat from the northeast. However, there isn't a low-level center as of yet. And where that low-level center develops is important to the future track. If that low level center is to develop somewhere up north, maybe in this area, it may begin to maybe track a little bit west northwest or just north of the island of Cuba, maybe missing some of the mountainous areas over here in eastern portions of Cuba. However, if the center does form somewhere more on the southern location or the southern lobe, uh, it may move completely over the island of Cuba which may allow it to inhibit development and we may see a weaker system as we get further off into the day. Now taking a look at models and where this system may go, just taking a quick look at the GFS, we can see here as we bring this out more into the present time, we do have that area of broad rotation centered right over the island of Hispaniola over here. And we can see as we go out into the future that 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 area of rotation begins to somewhat coalesce as it gets closer to the island of Cuba and we can see here that it's starting to become more centralized and we do have a very small area of rotation or a low level center forming somewhere in the southeast gulf and somewhere near the Florida Straits or near Florida as well. And we can see that system begin to lift as we get on into about 72 hours from now somewhere just west of Tampa Bay. However, there has been some guidance left or right of this, but it seems as though the models are starting to come into agreement that some type of system or some type of tropical cyclone will develop somewhere in the eastern Gulf and may impact areas of Florida. Now let's take a quick look at uh, the European model and see what it has to say as well. Now the European model does keep a more of a loose system, a system that is not as organized and as you can see here, it's not really focused like the GFS model was earlier. GFS had a nice little bundle somewhere just sitting off the southwest coast of Florida. However, the European is a little more loose than it is on the GFS. And that keeps a weaker system throughout the entire process of this system. And it may not even form an actual tropical cyclone until maybe later on in the game. And might, might, might not even be in the Gulf of Mexico. Let's take a quick look on how this plays out. And as you can see here, the, the system begins to try to develop some type of low. However, it doesn't really get a chance to really hone in on its skills and becomes a really bona fide tropical system. However, it is going to be a rainmaker. Now let's take a quick look at the GFS and see where this storm may be steering. So we, ha we have here in our upper air pattern or in our upper atmosphere, uh, we have two areas of high pressure. We have an area of high pressure centered off into the west, right here, and then we also have an area of high pressure off into the Atlantic right here. And that kind of creates a little area of weakness, and you can see that there is a trough here. Now typically if this trough was a little more amplified, it would allow this system to kind of hang a right and then get out of the way. However, that trough is not as amplified as we would like it, and there is an opportunity for this system to stall somewhere in the southeast. Now it depends if it's a little further here, it may stall in this area and may meander there for a while or it may meander somewhere off of the Atlantic coast. That is yet to be determined and anything past five days honestly is something that we don't want to really start to take too hard because a lot of atmospheric conditions do change as we go on in time. So just a main thing or the main takeaway here is that there's going to be a lot of rain in the areas of Florida. It's probably in for a very, very wet weekend and maybe a wet week. Now let's take a quick look at the ensembles to kind of get a general consensus of what's going on here. This is the European ensemble for 12Z. And we can see here that the European does keep 
most of the members very very weak just skirting along the northern portions of Cuba and gets into the Gulf where it may begin to amplify some bit as it hints as it begins to make a right turn toward the state of Florida so it looks as though the state of Florida may see some type of impacts from what is uh, in the future maybe a tropical cyclone or a tropical system or a tropical storm uh, Debbie taking a quick look at the American models we can see here that the American models does keep it a little further west and that further west movement allows it and especially some of these members off into the west uh, allows it to basically somewhat get a little stronger so if we have somewhat of a more western pattern uh, it spends a little bit more time over water and it allows the system to really begin to bundle and possibly become a little bit more stronger However, if we have a system that rides a little bit further north, you, as, you, as you can see here, the, the time over water is not as long. and You may have a weaker system going into the state of Florida and hooking a right. Now, we've seen this pattern before where systems have come up from the Caribbean and they hook a right because there's a trough coming in to, to grab them. And a good, uh, good, um, a good example of that would be in 2024 uh, 2022 we had hurricane Ian that was kind of projected at one point to maybe come into the Tampa area however once it m made its way north it began to hook a little bit more prematurely more so kind of in this direction across the state of Florida and then another good example of that is hurricane Charlie so we've seen the models kind of struggle with these systems that are coming from the Caribbean and they begin to make a right hook in my opinion, it seems as though some of those storms take more of an aggressive turn. However, that's not something that we uh, want to go ahead and count on, but it is a possibility. And when the system, if and when the system does develop, you should definitely seek the National Hurricane Center or your local news authorities to make the best decisions when it comes to the system that we may be encountering in the state of Florida over the weekend. Just wanted to talk really quick about impacts. Uh, for the state of Florida and the main impact for the state of Florida is obviously going to be the rain taking a quick look at our accumulated precipitation for the state of Florida we can see some pockets of precipitation somewhere in excess of seven inches in some areas of off the coast and some areas depending on where the center or where the bulk or the majority of the rain sits we're talking about some rain totals between two to seven inches it depends on where this is. If this is a little bit more to the right, then maybe areas in southeast Florida sees more rain. If it's a little bit more to the left, maybe areas near the Panhandle see a lot more rain. However, it looks as though we are not going to escape the rain aspects when it comes to this system, which is probably going to be Tropical Storm Debbie. Like always, if you have any questions or if you have any concerns, feel free to send me a message. However, I would honestly take a look at the National Hurricane Center for your final authority and your local news authority for your final authority when it comes to making decisions based on yourself. It looks as though this is going to be primarily just a rain event. However, there is a chance that the system may begin to develop or deepen and it may become maybe a wind threat to some coastal locations on the west side of Florida. That is it for now. Take care and have a good one.